Hey everybody, welcome to the Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. This article was submitted by Patreon supporter Tim Stack. Tim, you've been supporting this show from day one. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a great article in The Intercept. It came out uh, March 15th. Washington breaks out the just following orders Nazi defense for CIA director designate Gina Haspel. Uh, this was written by John Schwartz. It's a really good, I'll get into the details of it. So Gina Haspel is uh, going to take over CIA director. She has a history of torturing people under the Bush administration. And when that's brought up, everybody just goes, wow, it's, she's just following orders, which was literally, that was what was, there's a name for that. It's called the Nuremberg defense. When they tried all the Nazis after World War II in Nuremberg, they all said we were just following orders. So... Yeah, it's, nobody went, oh, putting a human being in an oven. Maybe this is a bad thing. I don't know. The boss told me to do it. Um, so, and of course, you know, I'm going to go into all the people that have said this. They said it on CNN and the people like Wolf Blitzer just oh, didn't question them. And it just shows you how the the military state, the corporate state just lets this happen. Now, a lot of these things were, they said, well, look, what she did was legal. That's because the Bush administration just said it's legal. Well, it's legal. I saw a great sign once at a, you know, a, a protest talking about everything Hitler did was legal. And people were like, well, that was, no, they passed laws. That's how they did it. When Hitler came to power, he didn't just in whatever it was, 34, 35, somewhere in there, I forget. But when he won, you know, stole the election and came to power, he didn't just suddenly go, boom, final solution, gas chambers. That took several years. They passed this law, they passed that law. You know, Jews got to stay in this neighborhood and they're not allowed to go here. And then they just, just little piece by piece did this. And everyone along the way just said I was following orders. So it's just showing you how um, hypocritical America is and how it won't even recognize its own atrocities and it's all justifiable as we're fighting the global war on terror so we can torture people. Um, and this is what's happening. So uh, Gina Haspel, a top CIA officer whom President Donald Trump has designated to be the agency's next director, bears no responsibility for the torture supervised. She supervised during the George Bush administration, right? She oversaw a black site in Thailand at which prisoners were waterboarded and subjected to severe forms of abuse. Haspel later participated in the destruction of CIA's videotapes of some of its torture sessions. There is informed speculation that part of the CIA's motivation for destroying these records may have been that they showed operatives employing torture to generate false intelligence used to justify the invasion of Iraq. There's one thing McCain has spoken out about um, because he was a POW that was tortured. They've even, they've, there's been evidence of they tortured people and they just, you torture someone, they'll tell, eventually tell you anything. They'll tell you whatever that you want, whatever. They'll tell, they'll cut, they'll anything. Like, I killed Elvis. I have the Loch Ness Monster in my backyard. Like, they'll, they'll admit to anything to get the torture to stop. This is a human reaction. So, torture does not even, it's not even an effective tactic. Um, John Kiriku, a former CIA operative who helped capture many Al-Qaeda prisoners, recently said that Haspel was known to some at the agency as Bloody Gina and that Gina and people like Gina did it, I think, because they enjoyed doing it. They tortured just for the sake of torture, not for the sake of gathering information. Um... Are we going to hold this woman accountable? See, I've just said this to time and time again. This is the equal. This is equality now. Women can go do awful things just like men. You know, it's just horrifying. She got off on it. If you're in that kind of job, I mean, I don't know how you could hear or watch someone be tortured and not be like, oh my God, stop. I don't want to hear this person scream. If you're like, yeah, we got to get information. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. To seek out that job and to oversee that job and then just, oh, I'm just following orders. Um, here's some of the people that have praised her. Um, 
Michael Hayden, former director of both the CIA and National Security Agency. In a Wednesday op-ed, Hayden endorsed Haspel as head of the CIA, writing that Haspel did nothing more and nothing less than what the nation and the agency asked her to do, and she did it well. Just, there it is, just following orders. She's just following orders. Torturing human beings and then, uh, you know, getting rid of evidence, just following orders. Um, John Brennan, who ran the CIA under President Barack Obama, made similar remarks on Tuesday when asked about Haspel. Obama's created a lot of black sites too where people were tortured. The Bush administration had decreed that its torture program was legal, said Brennan. And Haspel tried to carry out her duty at, duties at the CIA to the best of her ability, even when the CIA was asked to do some very difficult things. <laughs> Texas Republican Representative Will Hurd used the precise language of the Nuremberg defense during a Tuesday appearance on CNN when Wolf Blitzer asked him to respond to a statement from Senator John McCain, a Republican from Arizona. The Senate must do its job in scrutinizing the record and involvement of Gina Haspel in this disgraceful program. That's what John McCain said. Here's what uh, Republican Will Hurd said, who is a member of the House Intelligence Committee and former CIA operative as well, told Wolf Blitzer that wasn't Gina's idea. She was following orders. She implemented orders and was doing her job. He also said, you have to remember what, where we were at that moment, thinking that another attack was going to happen. But I'm sure then Wolf Blitzer then, you know, really scrutinized the guy because that's what he does at CNN. They really hold the CIA accountable. Nope, nope, had no follow-up questions. <laughs> Just kind of let that one slide, I guess. Um, it's... The UN Convention Against Torture, which was transmitted to the Senate by Ronald Reagan in 1988, states that... No exceptional circumstances whatsoever, whatsoever, whether a state of war or threat of war, international political instability, internal political instability, or any other public emergency may be invoked as a justification of torture. I guess Wolf Blitzer's research staff missed that. That was passed by Reagan in 1988. That's why they always want to get rid of the UN, by the way. And when they go black sites, they usually go to countries like Thailand and stuff like that where torture is legal. Samantha Winograd, who served on President Obama's National Security Council and is now an analyst for CNN, likewise used Nuremberg defense language in an appearance on their network. Haspel, she said, was implementing the lawful orders of the president. You could argue she should have quit because the program was so abhorrent, but she was following orders. Obama did this, by the way. So I just want all the neoliberals to be clear here. Obama ordered horrible torture, just like Bush did, just like Trump's doing. He just had a more polite Twitter feed. Passed a couple little environmental laws. Got gay marriage passed. That's great law. I'm glad Obama did that. That's really great. But then also did torture. Then Obama also had people tortured. Rich Lowry, editor of the National Review, who has issued a ringing defense of Haspel in Politico, claiming she was merely acting in response to what she was told were lawful orders. See how it works? See how the CIA works? They got operatives in all the media. So, hey, man, she's just following orders. A woman who, according to one CIA operative that worked with her, got off on torturing people. She's got to be funny Christmas. Ran, excuse me, Ron Paul. Excuse me, no, Ran Paul. Kentucky Republican Ran Paul, the only one to really criticize Haspel. Um, and when a reporter asked him, what do you think all oh, these were lawful at the time? She was just following orders. Um, this is what he said, the only one. This has been historically a question we've asked in every war. Is there a point at which soldiers say no? 
horrendous things happened in World War II and people said, well, the German soldiers were just obeying orders. I think there's a point at which even suffering repercussions that if someone asks you to torture someone that you should say no. Rand Paul, a politician is saying that, not a reporter. The corporate media is bullshit. The corporate media supports torture. Dianne Feinstein, I've said this time and time again, uh, Pompeo, when he became head of the CIA, now he got moved along, so we're bringing in another pro-torture person. It was Dianne Feinstein that was on her Twitter feed, oh, we don't support torture, don't support torture, but then voted for Pompeo. See how the whole system is bullshit? So cut your cord. Don't give your money to the corporate media because they don't want these kind of things being reported or talked about. I'm glad the Intercept is still doing stories like this. They're becoming a little corporate-y. They're becoming a little russia gate But I'm glad Tim Stack found this article and sent it to me, and that's a great way you can support this show. Go to patreon.com and support the channel. It's the best way to support this. Thank you for supporting me and giving me the opportunity to bring stories like this to light that Wolf Blitzer just couldn't have the time to report. Just following orders, guys. Oh, I'm just following orders. Yeah, I'm sorry. These are my orders to tell you, to tell Wolf Blitzer to go fuck himself. I'm just following orders. You can't blame me, Google. You can't demonetize this video. I'm just following orders. Batman, Batman told me to tell you to go fuck yourself. Oh, shit. Whoops. Thanks for watching.